Hello everyone, it is me again, Flanny, and today I am going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures. So, I have been pretty active on Instagram lately, and with that, I have received a lot of DMs about people asking me how I edit my picture, but I don't think my editing skill is at that level yet however i'm still gonna film this video to show you who dm'd me about how i edit my picture so i don't want to talk too much let's just get started okay so before i start with the editing i'm just gonna show you how i created this picture right here um what's cool about this picture is i didn't edit anything at all no filter and i just took it with my iphone camera so the tip to this is to cover your camera with cling wrap well um i don't have cling wrap with me right now but i'm sure you know what it is one important thing is to have direct sunlight with you because that will help to create the blurring effect so i have an example here of me taking picture of my sister as you can see the cling wrap really helped to soften the um, picture and create the dreamy effect okay so now we are going to start on editing my picture right here which is my selfie the app that i always use is facetune so let's just open it the first thing that i always check when i edit my picture is to check on my hair um, as you can see right here my hair is not that pretty and we're gonna change it by using the reshape tool and choose refine and we're just gonna pull the hair out to create the illusion of volumized hair i think that's good enough and we're gonna hit okay and then the second thing is the thing that i have been struggling forever which is hair loss um so as you can see right here it's not pretty so we're going to paint it by using this paint tool and choose picker and we're just gonna go with the area that is the closest and choose the paint and just slowly dab it dot just um try not to drag it if you drag it it's going to be unnatural so we're just gonna be patient and slowly do this until you are satisfied with the result i think that's good enough I'm just gonna zoom out okay okay so let's focus on my face now we're gonna take the retouch tool and choose the whiten tool and zoom in real close and just whiten my eyeball what i like about facetune is that it allows you to zoom in really really close so that you can be precise i also like to highlight my inner corner of my eye by just doing this motion and then same goes to the other eye and also the part that i wish to highlight i'm just gonna adjust the volume okay i think 60 is good enough and then we are going to choose the smooth tool to smoothen out my skin um, I'm not going to be really precise with my skin though just briefly doing it and bring it down to 35 yep and then maybe we're just gonna fill in the eyeliner and i'm just gonna choose the paint and again picker 
and choose the closest area and choose pain and zoom in real close and just slowly paint it like so so that it looks natural same goes to the other eye okay and then we're gonna adjust yep that's good enough so when everything is done i like to check the surrounding whether or not it is clean so it appears that i have um, some stains on the wall so we are gonna erase it by using this patch tool um i'm not really a fan of patch tool because i feel like it's really slow so we're just gonna use vanish here and slowly erase the stain on the wall just gonna do this slowly that's it so um i also realized that's something on my hair so we're just gonna erase it as well and yep we are done so yeah that's how i edit my selfie so we're just gonna save it and let's take a look at the before and after So the next picture that we are going to recreate is these pictures right here which is mainly the wording. Okay so the app behind this magic is PixArt. So we're just gonna click on PixArt and choose your picture. And the tool here is draw and you're just gonna select the tool with um, the T on top and start thinking of some interesting sentence um, I'm just gonna write I am funny <laughs> and choose color well you can choose different types of font here but I'm just gonna go with this one and apply oh I forgot to mention you can adjust the size as well and start drawing it in your picture so you can do it on different direction depending on your liking so i'm just gonna do it uh, like this for example like this okay so after this you can zoom in and choose the erase tool and erase the part that you wish to be erased I think that's good enough I think I'm pretty satisfied with this so yeah this is how I added the wordings okay so I received a few questions on how I apply filters on my pictures but seriously I don't play with filters that much because I don't really like over filtered picture but I can still show you how I normally would apply filters to my picture so the app that I always use is the SCO so let's choose a picture well I don't really have any favorite presets here in VSCO or Visco so I'll, I would just normally go to all presets and swipe it and see which one works the best for my picture that day and I think this FP number 8 is good enough and I'm just gonna lower down the intensity and I always play with exposure and also contrast just a little bit I think that's it so let me insert the before and after picture here
Okay, last but not least, I would like to introduce you another app that I really like at the moment, which is Prekel, which I think is quite famous nowadays. It has many cool filters and effects, which I would recommend you to try it out yourself. And also an app which I think is super super cool, which is made to you can actually change the position of your entire face, your brows, your eyes, your lips and so on. So let us try this one here. Like totally tilt your head up and down, like your forehead, even your eyebrow, the position of your eyebrow. I think this is really a good tool if you don't know how to draw your eyebrow. So I would highly recommend you to try this app at home. So yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys learned at least one or two things from this video. I know that um, my editing skill is quite basic to some of you guys, but what can I do? That's just how I edit my picture. So I want to say thank you to everyone who DM'd me. And again, I want to say thanks to everyone who watched my video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! One more time.